Good evening and welcome to The Squawk. I'm Carson Snitzler. And I'm Alex McEwen. Thanks for joining us tonight. We've got a new version of The Squawk coming to you this semester, and we're going to kick it off strong tonight with an interview with Tyler Trainer about the new Music on Monday shows he's hosting on Talk T Hawk TV. Also, we're going to spend lots of time tonight with everybody's favorite, Ram Waters. Stick with us tonight for all this and more on The Squawk. We're here now with Tyler Trainer. He is the host and one of the producers of a new show on Hawk TV called Music on Mondays. How are you doing tonight, Tyler? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm actually really good. So, glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Uh, I want you to start off by just telling us a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, my name's Tyler. I was like, I'm here, the host of Music on Mondays, a new show on Hawk TV. Uh, with that, I'm a musician around town. I was like, I'm here studying media arts at Northeast, nice. best college to be at. <laughs> Uh, I've played a few bands around here, so music is something that's very important to me, especially local music, so that is definitely the biggest inspiration behind me being here today. That's awesome. Uh, I lived in New Orleans for a couple years, and the live music scene down there is incredible, so I'm also a huge proponent for live and local music, and so it's awesome to have someone right here on campus who's doing so much with it. And on that note, I guess, could you tell us a little bit about the bands that you play in? Uh, so yeah, I was like, I played in a lot of original bands, it's like a very punk band that I like to write my own music with, uh, just something for me to kind of express myself, that's, that's your band you push out there for everybody. Yeah. I also play in a jam band called Jam Witch, I was like, we just take all your favorite songs, make them 15 minutes long, ripping <laughs> solos over the top yes. of it, I was like, it is, it's a lot, and then I also play in a jazz band called Good Vibes, we're actually going to have them on the show later, oh, alright, awesome. music on Mondays, yeah. Uh, so I kind of play, I try to cover all the topics I can, all the genres. No, that's awesome. Do you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit more about your Music on Mondays show? How did this come to be? All right, so Music on Mondays, I, I just know a lot of great artists and musicians around here that really need a platform to kind of push themselves out there to everybody. So Music on Mondays was just this, it's the platform itself. It's the way for all these people to get out there, for them to have this professional video they can show people. I think everybody kind of needs this this base or this ground they can build on to show themselves out something that looks good that they can show. Uh, with that, I was like, I just, I'm lucky enough that I get to do this with all my close friends and we get to show people that all these amazing artists that are around here. That is super awesome, actually. So what is the concept of this show? I know you said your goal is to get all of these local artists a little bit of video footage, get them noticed, but how do you go about doing that? The biggest thing that we do is we're just going to take them and take three or five of their original songs that they've written as if we have to make sure they're original so we can yeah. publish it. Uh, and we just give them this platform where we let them talk about their music, why they wrote it, who they wrote it about, all the inspiration behind that. Kind of what you guys do here as like, except more centered and boxed yeah, in with music. Yeah. Uh, with that, um, after we get done with our interviews, we give them this per, uh, stage where they can perform all their music live, all their pieces. Uh, and then after that, we kind of compile it in a package for them, we give it to them, and then we upload it here for a lot of people to see. That's awesome. And for those who want to watch it, what time and when does it air? We got it on YouTube going at 3 on Music on Mondays, and then here, Channel 34, on, I believe, 5 o'clock on Mondays. That is super awesome. So now, um, something a little different. I heard a little bit about a story with a cat. Oh, could lovely. You, could you tell that story to our audience? <laughs> All right, uh, so the cat story, yeah. I was uh, moving different houses. Um, move, we got this really nice house that's kind of out in the country, and we kind of lived in this really, just very, really affordable house, uh, kind of in town. Uh, I already have a cat, but I was like, I, I discovered pretty early on I was a cat person, so I saw another cat just kind of under that deck of the old house, just looking cold. It was winter. I felt bad for it. It gives you the sorry eyes. I was like, okay. <laughs> I crack, I'll do Jesus' work, I'll bring him inside. <laughs> uh, so I brought him inside, but the, the catch is I brought him inside without my parents knowing. I, I got him snuck by for at least three good months. Wow. You could see the ribs on this cat. It was hungry and in bad condition. So I, eventually I kept feeding it, taking good care of her. And then 
you just notice the cat getting bigger and bigger. And then eventually, I was like, one day I'm just chilling at home reading or scrolling through my phone, and I hear the cat sneeze and a leg pops out the other end. <laughs> Wait, a leg pops a out. A leg the popped other out the other end, and I'm like, just the, vis- the yep. audible scream from me, I'm like, this cat was pregnant the whole time. <laughs> so, this cat that I've been hiding from my family, my mother works at home, she uh, runs an in home business, so she runs upstairs, like, what's going on? Sees me, like, on the phone crying with the phone in my hand. I'm calling the vet, like, what do I do? Do I hold its hand? Do I comfort it? <laughs> as, the, as there are now, like, five bloody kittens surrounding this cat. And I'm just like, I'm on the f- floor. <laughs> that is wild, first off, that you were able to save this cat. And then three months of being able to hide it from a mom who works at home takes a lot of skill. Oh. <laughs> And then, what, what happened to the kittens? Uh, sadly, I had to give them away, because my parents already told me I put the cat through enough, so I had to keep the cat. Well, but that's yeah, fair, yeah, I was like, but I would have had seven cats at the point, and I can't be the crazy cat guy around town. I, I don't need that's that fair. reputation. You're, you're a little young to be yeah. the crazy cat guy. No, uh, I guess, is there anything else in, while you're here that you would like to tell our audience about your show, about your music, about the local music scene, anything. I think the biggest thing is just giving these artists a chance. Uh, not all of them get the platform that they do, so even just you taking time out of your day is just a big thing for them. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. So thank you so much for joining us today, Tyler. Of course. Once again, this is our host of Music on Mondays, and you can see Music on Mondays both on YouTube and on uh, live on air. And thank you. A lot of people don't understand what goes into a broadcast, and they don't understand what Carson does to get ready for a broadcast. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. It's intense. Mary had a little lamb. Give me a hundred on the Lakers. Yeah, a hundred. You know I'm good for it. Yeah, just do it. Carson is multi-talented and we're just really thankful he's here. Tonight, this show is for you. I love you, man. Do you want to build a snowman? (laughs) Well, Carson, I'm not a huge snow guy myself, so I think I'm going to pass. But that is actually exactly what Ram went out to do for this week's edition of Unleash the Ram. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Hey, what up? It's Unleash the Ram here, and um, welcome back to second semester. It's snowing right now. The only thing that sucks about Norfolk is it's in Nebraska, not on the coast where there's beach and it's nice and warm. No, I look around and we just see snow. So I'm going to come out here and build a snowman. So, yeah. Snowman. Delicious. Absolutely. Delicious. So I think it's just better than the Hawks lunch food stuff. It's cold. I'm going inside. I can't even get up on that. (laughs) Very cold. I can't feel my lips. What does my face look like? even stick together. Hey! What was that for?
It doesn't even stick! One, two, three. Stack, why are you still following me? Why are you still following me? Stop following me! Oh, he's trying to get on the ground. Oh, 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 I'm out of my up there. No. We need a little more. No. We need a little more. No. Yeah, we One. Two. Three. Snowman. That's so cold. That's so cold. That is so cold. Oh, that's in my back. Oh, it's in my body, in my back. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh. You said this was going to do one shot. Very nice work. I hope you enjoyed doing the snowman building, Ram. And now I am pleased to be joined by the mastermind behind Unleash the Ram, as well as the new host and producer of a new show coming out called Beat the Ram, Ram Waters. Ram, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, so yeah, so I am the um, co-owner co of or co-creator of Beat the Ram. And what Beat the Ram is, it's kind of like a, um, uh, it's a 30 minute show of, I go around campus or somewhere around Norfolk too, and I go and do different activities with people and try and beat them at stuff. Uh, and they try to beat me also. Like I know um, for one of them, we started recording last week. I, I did one against you, I think. Yes, we played we darts. Did darts, yeah, and we had to do blindfolds. That was really fun. Um, I would like to point out that I did, in fact, beat the Ram that day. Okay, that's the one time the Ram has been beat. That's the one time. Um, but yeah, it's like, it, we just do fun stuff like that. And then I did one with Chris. He's one of the janitors here uh, at Northeast. Um, and I did a basketball show, uh, basketball um, pig, basically. I played pig with him. Uh, so that was fun. Um, and then I think that's all we've done for right now. We did the pool and the ping pong. Oh, yeah, the pool and ping pong. One of my roommates, I played ping pong against him. And the sad part about that is that I taught, I taught him how to play ping pong the day before, so he beat me. So I guess that's not the one time that I got beat, but that's okay. Um, and, then, uh, uh, and then I played ping pong against Eli McPhelps. McPhelps. McPhelps, I don't know how to say his last name, I'll be honest. Um, uh, we played pool, was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pool. So, can you kind of tell me, what made you decide to kind of want to do this? I mean, you've been helping us out all year with Beat the Ram, or excuse me, Unleash the Ram. Yeah. So, did that kind of play a role in you wanting to do this? It kind of did, yeah, it really did. I kind of, it was really funny, because I got back from break, and I was coming back from classes, and most of the time, I'm always in the studio working, um, doing different stuff, working on homework, editing videos and stuff, um, but then I'm also, uh, but then I'm uh, the director of the broadcasting, Dr. Ryan Sevening, um, is also giving me different ideas of like, hey, let's, uh, you want to do this or you want to do that? I'm like, yeah, sure. And so he, he and I both came up with the idea of Beat the Ram, and uh, I was down for it. He was down, and it's been a pretty good ride so far. So what are you hoping to gain from doing this? Um, I don't really know if there's much to gain from it. It's just something fun to do around campus. Kind of like get like kind of like just like get away from the entire like academic side of it and 
just kind of expand things yeah. a little bit and kind of bring a little bit of a twist to kind of how we do things on broadcast. Yeah, yeah. So kind of as I wrap things up, uh, you're a sophomore, or you've been doing classes here for a couple mm -hmm. years. What are you hoping to do once your time at Northeast is over? Once my time, I don't really know the next step yet. You know, it's just, I'm still at that age of like, I, I, I know what I want to do, but it's like, I don't know, or like, I, 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 I know what I want to do, but it's like, I don't know how to do it. And so it's, it's still in the air of like, if I want to do it and stuff. Okay. Well, Ram, it's been a pleasure. And yeah. something that I have not mentioned yet is Ram's show, much like what we heard in the last interview with Alex and Tyler, Ram's show will be aired on, I believe, Thursday, Thursday yeah, on think, Thursdays yeah. at 6 p.m. on the same network as Tyler's. And then also it'll be on YouTube, so you'll be able to see it anytime after that. Yep. So be sure and catch him after that. And with that, Ram will be back later. So we will say see you for now, Ram, but Ram will be back later. Yeah. And we're going to take a short break and be right back, so don't go anywhere. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em. Remind me about that party again. And Alex adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. Welcome back to the Squawk. So last Wednesday, January 24th, was National Compliments Day. So we sent Carson and Will Wesselink out to share a bit of compliment love with those here on campus. What's up, Squawk? This is Carson and Will here. We are going around for National Compliment Day, complimenting anybody we see. Will, I like the way you run the TriCaster. You're one of the best people when it comes to switching. You really know how to organize the brakes, and you make my life a lot easier. Carson, I'm glad you said that. You, as well, you're great at doing anger. You're, you have a great voice, a good talent for announcing things. You're great at script writing, and you make it a lot easier to run the actual broadcast. So we're with the Squawk TV here on campus. It is National Compliment Day, so we're going around giving compliments. And thus, you look like you are very athletic. Thank you. Thank you. You're doing a great job dispensing coke. For National Compliment Day, going around taking compliment or going around giving compliments to people. I like your vest that you're wearing today. Oh, thank you. You like the heart that's on there? Yes. That's uh, totally cool. It's always nice seeing you guys walk around campus. See you guys walk around together. It's nice to see kind of the camaraderie that you guys share with each other. Thank you. <laughs> Wednesday going, Jackie? My Wednesday is going great. How is yours? Really good. You know, appreciate everything you do for us, keeping everything clean and sanitary and safe around campus. Awesome. Thank you. It's worth the Squawk TV here on campus and it is National Compliment Day, so we're going around giving people compliments. I love both of you guys' fashion. It looks really great. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say, I really appreciate the work that you guys do, especially putting up with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. For National Compliment Day, we just went on giving compliments to people. I like your glasses. I like the design that you have there. Thank you. So what's the deal, gentlemen? What's going on today? It's National Compliments Day, so we're uh, going on complimenting everybody. Yeah, you. Yeah. And, and, you are a lot better human being than the man holding our camera. And it's not hey, much, but I'll take it. And, and at least made his campus today. It's not always easy, and sometimes I do get lost. So, we're the Squawk, and it's National Compliment Day. And as such, I see you two here in the uh, study area a lot. And so, you guys must be really good at studying. It's, you guys are 
always in here being great students. So for National Compliment Day, I'm just going around giving compliments, and I just want to say, announcing you guys, it was really fun getting to enjoy volleyball and getting to know the game a little better. It was a lot of fun for me to do. Well, thank you. We really appreciate you coming and covering us all Thanks. the time. We really appreciated that, and I know the girls did too. Thanks. So, thank you. thank you. It is National Compliment Day today here on campus and around the world, and thus wise, yeah. you have a very nice uh, personality, and you're very kind. Thank you. 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 I'm from Squawk. Today is National Compliment Day here on campus and around the world. So we're going we're going around giving people compliments and you look very nice today. Well, thank you. You should see me on my off days. <laughs> hey Ram, it is National Compliment Day and we're going around giving compliments to everybody. And I just want to say that you make a very good cup of hot cocoa. So we're with Squawk, it's National Compliment Day, we're giving compliments around. Um, here at Northeast we are very thankful for all the work you guys put in, and it's always great work. No, oh, thank you, I appreciate it. So we're with uh, Squawk here on campus. Uh, my name is William, and today is National Compliment Day. And so, as it is National Compliment Day, we're going around giving compliments. As such, you have a really nice smile. Well, thank you. How are we doing today, man? Not too bad. How are you? Good. Good. You uh, yeah. going to go on anywhere when you're done here? You're going to play college? Um, yeah, okay. at the moment, just speaking to a few schools. Um, obviously, luckily, I've got until next fall, so just being a bit, being a bit patient, just to uh, see what my best option is. Nice. So you're definitely good enough to go on. No, nah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too, man. <clears throat> National Compliments Day was a great chance to get out and make the day better for others, but today is a national day where we can have a little bit of fun for ourselves. National Draw a Dinosaur Day. So Ram and I are going to be starting a little series of challenges between us, somewhat like his new show Beat the Ram, and we're going to be doing just that. The two of us are going to get 90 seconds to draw our best dinosaurs, and then the guys behind the camera will get a chance to decide who's, gonna, who's is better. So, Ram, would you like to join me at the whiteboard? I would love to. Some dinosaur drawing? Yeah. Would you go ahead and erase that for I me? would love to erase this board, you know? This might be a while. Well, it looks like we're going to see a little bit of the sun in the background yet. But that was there when dinosaurs were, too. So it works hey, out. As far as we know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ram, do you know what kind of dinosaur you're going to draw? I'm gonna draw a, what's the one that has the four, the legs? The one that has, most of them. Most of them had legs. Oh, that's right. The <laughs> one that looks like a rhino. Um, uh, the rhino tops? I don't know, it just looked like <laughs> Okay, do we have a timer going for us for 90 seconds? Okay, sounds good. Let's start it. All right, so I've never really seen a real dinosaur in life, so we're just gonna I mean, that's fair. This. I... So I think we got the legs here. Oh man, I need a better marker. Got another leg here. Oh man, this is gonna be a masterpiece. I guess mine's gonna be faced the wrong way here. <laughs> another leg here. So you said you've never seen a dinosaur in person, but you've at least seen movies with them, right? I have. I have seen the Jurassic Park films. Okay. I hope yours is really realistic then. I was going for more of a cartoon, but oh. I, yeah, then we're just going to erase that. We're just going to start over. That's, that's fair. Mine, it, it kind of looks like a cow right now. Oh, yeah, cow, well, <laughs> horse, you know, hey. I'm not anything sure. Anything fits, anything fits. I'm not sure what we're going for 45 here. seconds, fellas. 45? 45 yeah. seconds? Oh, what? I literally just started. Yeah, this is literally a cow. Um, so, in order to make it less cow. 30. 30, 30 seconds. seconds? Oh wait, actually, this looks worse than I thought it was going to. Oh no. And then the rhino part right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. A little smiley face. Maybe a little beard. 15, 15 beard. seconds. 15 seconds. Oh, that is Eight, actually pretty good. Seven, bad. six, five, four. I'm not done yet. Three, two, one. Drop your markers, gentlemen. Okay, so my dinosaur's name is Bob. I just want to tell you that before you make your decision. Whose is better? We have two in the control room saying the llama, which I'm going to say is <laughs> Alex. 
I'm yeah. going to count that as a win. And now that we know who the better artist is, let's go ahead and try another challenge. Another challenge. This one we're going to have to move around a little bit more for. And it's probably going to be a little bit more of a struggle. So Ram and I are going to race to tie ties. And hopefully they won't look too bad in the end. Which one would you like? I would like this one. Okay, there we go. Kind of reminds me of Elvis. So, so I heard that like <laughs> they say, put the needle, put the, put the rabbit down the hole, comes out the spout. That might be what they say. I can't say that's something I've heard before, but I will not argue with you there. Yeah. Have you ever tied a tie before, Ram? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully that's good for me because it's been a while since I've tied a tie. I've but, always... well, I, I have the right idea. It's definitely is... just not the right size. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I might be able to tie about three or four times before Ram gets one done. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, <laughs> you can take it for what it is. Oh. I'm more, oh. I'm more oh. of a bow tie guy, traditionally, so that's why I'm struggling here. I do, in fact, know how to tie a bow tie, but I, I don't wear ties. They just don't look great on me all the time. Understandable. And I don't think this one's going to be any longer than that last one was, unfortunately. Is it the flat it's side? Yeah, one minute. One, one minute. minute? Okay, well. Okay, so you put that there. So far. No, no, no. no. I'm willing over. to say that I'm winning. Hey, hey, hey. But there is a lot of time left, and none of my ties have looked good either. But I am trying to take a 2 nothing lead on Ram. I think that looks great right there. Oh, to actually. Me. That's not bad. I mean, it's a little low. It's You'd just like it to be up higher. On we your would. Neck. I think if we did that, I think if we did that, it would look great. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look I at don't that. think that's half bad. Nope. Neither do I. Um, I don't think mine's half bad though either. So I think we're gonna have to ask for another vote here, between these two ties. And just remember, Ram has an extra about four. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. No, he does not. Ram doesn't have anything right now. <laughs> Okay, have the votes come in yet? We're waiting for the votes. Okay, it sounds like I am the winner. What? Again, I'm what is super this? sorry, Ram. This but is rigged. Thank you so much for joining us for so much of our show tonight. Oh, yeah. And we'll be back with you soon. I'm a licensed practical nurse. I work in rehab, long-term care, and assisted living facilities. When I look at my residents, I see my mom, my dad, and I'm giving the respect and the care I would want. We are protectors of our residents. Their safety, their health, and happiness are three things that we're working on 24-7. We've taken an oath to do that, but it's in our hearts to do that. I was given a prescription opioid pain medication that lasted a lot longer than the pain itself. And within only a few months, I was completely addicted. I lost everything. And I started to watch my life slip away. These drugs are addictive. One prescription can be all it takes to lose everything. Okay, with all this talk of music that we've had today, Carson, I have a question for you. Are you into music? I kind of am, yeah. I mean, Tyler really, coming in today, kind of got me into the musical spirit, and so I've been really thinking about music a lot today, and I kind of do like music, yeah. Okay, you have a favorite song, by chance? I, I do, but, oh, what the heck's the name of that song? Uh, how, how does it go? That I do know. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I, I, I! Bum, bum. Crazy, but that's how it goes. Millions of people living as foes. Maybe it's not too late. 